um, I didn't want it to go that direction, so I pointed at it, touched the screen, and set a short little uh, redirectional uh, petition to the source, and they immediately turned. Huh. So, I, okay, uh, let, let's hold it right there. The the in, the large scale intent uh, experiments, like uh, producing rain or like turning uh, a hurricane or redirecting a hurricane, something of that sort, uh, Dean. Mm-hmm. Uh, how? What do you have to say about that? I mean. For example, the experiments I did, uh, where you where you produce rain, um, impossibly produce rain, and you don't do it once; you do it many times. Mm-hmm. Well, um, you're wall. working on a on, a, on a, a, a kind of a strange system anyway. The weather system does it make sense that intent, uh, strong intent, can affect such systems? Well, if, if you believe in chaos theory, and I think we can, uh, then the flapping of a butterfly's wings will eventually create a hurricane. You know, right. in other words, a very, very tiny initial effect can have a huge outcome. Yes. Uh, and there's this huge, long history of shamanism, which most, much of which had to do with creating rain or getting rid of rain. Mm-hmm. Uh, the question then is, can we do this under a systematic scientific way? I know plenty of people who, to- who talk about these kinds of things, of directing hurricanes here and, and changing the weather and so on, but... I don't know of very many systematic studies to to be able to rule out all of the other possible variables. So I would say uh, this is yet another area that deserves some serious study, uh, but I don't think I, I, at least I'm not aware of of any uh, publications yet on that topic. Well, part of what scared me, as I think you know, is I began to imagine all sorts of unintended uh, consequences. Uh, In other words, at some point, uh, I guess I started out sort of, gee, this would be fun, let's do this. And then I started to realize, well, suppose, for example, we do either stall or redirect a hurricane in some manner that saves one city but puts it uh, out at sea for a longer period of time and allows it to grow into a Category 5 that then slams into a city and kills a bunch of people. So mm-hmm. unintended consequences. Yep, it's, uh, it's a very important point and... Uh, the, the whole point of the, the, that we need to study these things in more detail so we know what we're dealing with, so that we at least have some sense of what the consequences may be. Because Dean, you're, you're uh, absolutely right. Yeah. The, the consequence right now is we're completely out of time. The oh, program my. just is ending. Um, that fast. My friend, it has been such a pleasure having you back on the show. Everybody, go out and grab the new paperback, The Conscious Universe by Dean Radin. Dean, thank you for being here. Thanks, Art, and I hope your cold gets better very quickly. (laughs) Uh, There's a number of people working on that, I'm sure. Good night, Dean, and thank you. All right, folks, that's it. Um, Boy, that went quickly. Um, They say that, I guess, when you're having fun, it just flies by, and it really did. So from the other side of the world, I'm Art Bell in Manila, capital city of the Philippines. Good night, all.